How to check the door safety switch. You could use a multimeter or a cheap continuity tester like this one that you could buy at Home Depot or Walmart. Disconnect the washer from the wall outlet. Remove the front panel. Lean the washer against the wall like this. Make sure is steady and is not going to fall on you. Go to the motor and disconnect these wires. I glued the cord plug and the wires from the motor to the motor so I could film and show you what you need to do. You could just hold the wires in your hands. Make sure the continuity tester is working by touching the two ends like this. With the washer door closed, place the continuity tester between this terminal on the plug and this orange wire. If the light glows on the tester, the door switch is working okay. If the light doesn't light up, the problem could be a bad door switch or a broken wire to the door switch. To check it with a multimeter, do the following. Turn the multimeter on. Set it on the lower scale to read ohms. With the washer door closed. Take a reading between this terminal on the cord plug and the orange wire from the motor. If the reading is close to zero ohms, the door switch is working okay. If the reading is infinity, you may have a broken wire to the door switch or a bad door switch. How to replace the magnetic door switch? Disconnect the washer from the wall outlet. Remove the front panel. Lean the washer against the wall like this. Make sure is not going to fall on you. Cut this plastic strap to loosen the wires. To remove the door switch you will need to press on this tab. Use a spatula or potty knife and a screwdriver to remove the door switch. Like this. Cut the bad switch from the wires. Separate the wires and strip the insulation from the ends. Do the same to the switch you are going to install. I use shrinking tube for insulation. You could use electrical tape. Twist the wires together. Solder the wires to get a better connection. Cut any sharp points on the connections. If using shrinking tube put them over the connections. Or use electrical tape. If using shrinking tubes, pass a match under the tubes to shrink them. Set the switch in place. This is the way that it should look when you finish replacing the door switch. Stand up the washer. 
install the front panel. That was the way to check and replace the magnetic door switch. Click on these links to visit my website and to subscribe to my channel.